Hello friends and welcome back to Unbound Learners Pre-K. Happy Friday everyone! Let's begin circle time with our good morning song together. We're going to stretch our arms out like airplane wings and fly your airplane to one side, fly your airplane to the other side, back to the middle just like the letter T and bring those airplane wings into a circle out in front like this. Raise your circle up over your head and give a stretch to one side, stretch over to the other side. Nice stretching friends! One last stretch up at the top and bring your circle back down. Now it's time to sing together. If you know the words, you can sing along with me. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. I hope that you all are having a wonderful day so far and let's get started with circle time. We have lots to do today. The first thing that we need to do is turn to the calendar and weather chart and say the date. And when we say the date, the first thing that we say is the month. The month is right up here. Do you know what the month is? April! That's right! The month is April and today is April 9th. So let's move the chip over from yesterday. Yesterday was April 8th and today is April 9th, 2021. But you can also say that the year is 2021. There are two ways to say the year and both of them are correct. Will you say the date one more time with me? Today is April 9th, 2021. Can I see your counting fingers like this, friends? And give them a little stretch to warm them up. We are going to count all of the days that we've had so far in the month of April. So let's start at the top with the number one. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine. We have had nine days so far in the month of April. Now it's time to sing our Days of the Week song. How many fingers do we need to hold up for this next song? Will you show me? Seven, that's right. Because we have seven days in our week, we hold up seven fingers like this. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. If we travel down, down, down to the bottom of the chart, right down here, it says that yesterday was th Thursday. Yesterday was Thursday. So that means that today is, here's your clue, f Friday. Today is Friday, the last day of the weekday. And if today is Friday, that means that tomorrow will be Saturday. Tomorrow will be Saturday, the first day of the weekend. But let's go back to today and let's sing today is Friday together. It goes like this. Today is Friday, today is Friday, today is Friday, all day long. Today is Friday, today is Friday, today is Friday, all day long. Let's travel back up to the top of the chart. Right up here we have the season. Do you remember what the season is right now? Spring! That's right friends, it's springtime. Have you noticed any new signs of spring at your house? I noticed a new sign of spring at my house today. I saw a robin outside and the robin was collecting little twigs inside of her mouth. I wonder what the robin was doing. What do you think? Building a nest. That's right. The robin was collecting little twigs to build her nest. Okay friends, let's go down to the bottom of the chart 
can sing the weather song together. What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? Guess what, friends? The rain is falling today at my house. Down here, I have a picture of a cloud with raindrops falling. When I look outside, the sky is gray with storm clouds and I see the water hitting the ground. That's the rain. It's very rainy in the springtime because the temperature is getting warmer and the air can hold more moisture. And look at that. The temperature is warmer today. What's the weather like where you live, friends? Look out your window and let me know what you see. Thanks for sharing the weather with me. Now, because today is Friday, it's going to be our last day talking about this letter. Do you remember the sound that this letter makes? Let's make that sound again together on the count of three. One, two, three. Wha, wha. And do you remember what letter this is? W, you're right. This is a lowercase w, and w says wha, wha. Let's see what's inside of the letter box today. Are you ready? So inside of this box, I have something that starts with the letter w, w. Here's your first clue. This is a type of a cooking utensil. This is used to mix and blend different ingredients together. Do you know what it could be? Let's take a look. Do you see what I have here, friends? This is called a whisk. A whisk is used to mix and blend different ingredients together. I've used this whisk before during circle time to mix different colors together. And whisk starts with the letter W. W. This is how you write a lowercase w. W. One more time. Today will also be the last day talking about this double digit number. Do you remember what number we've been talking about this week? 18, that's right. And when you write the number 18, you have to write two numbers. First you write the number one, and then you write the number eight, 18. Will you count 18 tally marks with me? Here we go. One, two, three, four, Five goes across, six, seven, eight, nine, ten goes across, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen goes across, sixteen, seventeen, and one more makes eighteen. Eighteen tally marks. Now let's take a peek inside of the number box and see what we have to count. I have 18 acorn tops. And as I count them, I'll line them up across the top of the box so we can count them together. One, these two are connected. Two, three, four, five, six. These two are also connected. Seven, eight, nine, 10, two more connected acorn tops, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and one more makes 18, 18 acorn tops. Since today is Friday, it will also be the last day learning how to say baby in sign language. Will you show me how to be, say baby in sign language? That's right, baby.
Today's baby animal hatches from an egg, just like a bird. But these eggs are not found in a nest up in a tree. These eggs are found under the water. Today's baby animal is a tadpole, and a tadpole is a baby frog. Let's begin with the life cycle of a frog. So in the springtime, the female frog will lay hundreds of eggs under the water. And these eggs are surrounded by a jelly-like sac called spawn. About a week later, the eggs will hatch and a tadpole will come out of the egg. A tadpole looks like a little fish. And after a few weeks, the tadpole will grow its two back legs. And then the tadpole will grow its two front legs, but still keep its tail. This is called a froglet. And a few weeks later, after the froglet loses its tail, it will become a frog. And then the life cycle will start all over again. Before we move on to today's work, I have a song to share with you. And it goes like this. Three green and speckled frogs sat on a great big log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were two green speckled frogs. Croak, croak. Two green and speckled frogs sat on a great big log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there was one green speckled frog. Croak, croak. One green and speckled frog sat on a great big log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were no green speckled frogs. Today's work tray activity is slimy and gooey, a great sensory activity. Let's go check it out. Yesterday, I took two tablespoons of chia seeds and I soaked them in seven tablespoons of water and just let this cup sit on the counter overnight. Let's check it out now and let's see what it looks like. Friends, if you didn't have time to prepare this work overnight, I found that you can also just let the mixture sit for a couple of hours until the chia seeds absorb the water and then just drain the extra water. And look what we have here. We made frog spawn. Remember, frog spawn is a frog egg surrounded by a jelly-like substance similar to this. And once the frogs lay their eggs or their spawn, they will hatch into tadpoles. Now this isn't real frog spawn. This is just a chia seed and water mixture, but it definitely resembles and feels like frog spawn. If you don't like the way that this texture feels, you can explore the frog spawn using a spoon or a popsicle stick instead of your fingers. And if you've made enough frog spawn, you can add this to a sensory table with some plastic frog figurines and explore what it looks like. You can use a magnifying glass and see what it looks like up close. The little tadpoles would be those little black chia seeds and the water would be the jelly around it. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. Before we go, let's go over the life cycle of a frog one last time. So do you remember what those jelly-like sacs that protect the frog eggs are called? Spawn, that's right. And what hatches from the egg? A 
tadpole. And when the tadpole begins to grow little legs, what is that called? A froglet. And once the froglet loses its tail, it becomes a frog. That's right. And then the cycle can start all over again. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a big thumbs up and find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. Next week, we're going to continue our focus on baby animals. We have one last song to sing before we go. Can everybody wave goodbye like this? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Have a great weekend, everyone, and I'll see you on Monday.